Hey there everyone, Laser Dave here again with Trotec Laser. I want to take you on a deep dive into the latest version of the Trotec Ruby software to showcase the new features and improvements expanding on the benefits of this software. If you are just beginning with the Ruby software, this video covers new features and is an expansion to previous videos. To get started, please scan these QR codes for an introductory Ruby training video. Then move to the round 2 Ruby training video. This video will be taking a deep dive into the latest features and updates added to the newer versions of the Ruby software. The previous versions of the Ruby software would support the vector formats SVG, AI, and PDF, and the non-vector formats of JPEG, Bitmap, and PNG. New vector formats include CDR and DXF. To use the CDR or CorelDRAW file, save the file, then open the Ruby software. Select the Import button in the Manage screen, and select any version of CorelDRAW file. Then select it to open, and edit or run that file. It is also possible to drag in the files from your computer directly into Ruby. Go back to the Manage screen, select the files from another monitor, desktop, or folder. In this case, select the CDR or compatible file format, and drag it into the Ruby screen. And the new file will then show in the Manage screen. File drag and drop will also work directly into the prepare screen. Open the prepare screen and drag the file directly onto the screen, shown with the new DXF format in this case. If editing is required, the edit icon can be selected. This will open the editor. In this case, to change the line color to the cut color and fit the file to the design. Then update the job and select the material to be laser processed. Zip files can also be imported into Ruby from the Manage screen by importing or dragging a zip file filled with supported formats. Ruby will take a zip file, unzip the files, and proceed to load all the files in the zipped format into Ruby shown here with 29 different files in the supported formats all at once. The next feature is the job time calculator. Go to the prepare screen, open a file, select a material, then select the clock icon at the top toolbar to use this feature. When selected, it will then show the calculated time in the bottom right corner of the screen. That estimated time will also show on the file in the produce screen and when that file is being laser processed, a new progress bar with the calculated job time will show the file's processing status. This next feature can help with laser efficiency, the Design Array feature. To use this feature, select the Prepare screen. Then, there are Jobs and Designs on the left side of this screen. This feature only works in Designs. Designs can be added to the field by selecting the arrow to place the design on the field. Double-click this arrow and the Design Array feature will then open. This feature will array the selected job by selecting the desired number identified in the boxes while showing that array on the prepare screen. This feature also has adjustments for X and Y spacing and a row offset to allow for more efficient material use. Once adjusted, select the add button to make a new job of arrayed designs. Then select the material and send it to the laser for processing or use the job calculator for a volume production estimate. Next is the photo tune feature. This feature will allow a tone curve correction on photos before laser processing. To use this feature, import or select an image from the manage screen to be opened into the design screen. Select the edit icon on the top right of the photo and a tone curve will show with a before and after version of that photo. Adjust the angle of the curve to make changes to that photo. This feature allows adjustments to be performed on a photo directly in the Ruby software. When finished, select Apply for the photo adjustment to take effect. The final feature for this deep dive video is the Stamps feature, which prepares a file to become a stamp. Select or import a design from the Manage screen. Then from that screen, select the stamp icon on the top toolbar. 
It will then ask if a cut line is desired. Select and adjust as needed, and then select Generate Stamp. And a completely new file will show at the top of the design list, separate from the original file. Select this new file and then create the laser job. Position the new stamp job on the field over the material in the laser and then select Stamp Mode on the top toolbar. Then choose the material, in this case rubber for a rubber stamp. In Stamp Mode, the stamp shoulder can also be adjusted if desired by selecting the three lines at the top right side of the screen. This will offer three shoulder adjustment options. Select the desired shoulder and send the file to the laser for processing. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.